Hashtag Man, can you explain what methylation is and why it's so important for our health? Welcome back. It's good to see you all again. If we haven't met before, then hi, I'm Goji Man. I'm currently studying for a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And next year, I'll be studying for a PhD in nutritional science. I do plant-based nutrition videos every other day in which I answer your health questions under the hashtag AskGojiMan. So if you have a question for me, then hashtag AskGojiMan in the comments below or under the new format. You can record you asking your hashtag AskGojiMan question and sending it through to contact at gojimannutrition.com. I really like the personal approach of you asking questions through video as I think this really helps with building community around the channel. And even though I'll still be answering all of your questions from the comments, questions from videos will get a slight preferential treatment. And on that bombshell, to the question. Now everyone makes videos on methylation but how many times have you watched these videos and then come away afterwards thinking I still haven't got a bloody clue what methylation is. In this video I'll break everything down so at the end of it you will be a methylation Jedi. So then, what the hell is methylation? So essentially, methylation is the addition of three hydrogen atoms and a single carbon atom to another molecule. So when you have a single carbon atom and three hydrogen atoms, they are called methyl groups, which I'm sure many of you will have heard before. So very simplistically, methylation is the addition of a methyl group and demethylation is the removal of the methyl group. That's all very nice and well, Goji Man, but what the hell does methylation and demethylation do in the body, and why is it so important? So the easiest way to think of methylation is to use a light switch analogy. So if you think that every process in the body requires the light switch to either be on or off. So from extracting glucose from the food that you eat and converting this into ATP energy in your mitochondria, or how your body effectively detoxes, all of these processes need the light switch to either be on or off. And that's all methylation is. It's simply a process of controlling processes in the body with on and off switches. So to sum up and simplify, methylation is switching on and demethylation is switching off. So when you eat fruits and vegetables, particularly dark leafy greens and beets, etc., you get lots of methyl groups. And these methyl groups help switch on or off a number of different responses in the body, such as detoxification, hormone production, inflammation, energy production, immune responses, and also DNA repair. Now, if you have a lack of methyl groups in the body or you have a mutation in your MTHFR gene, then you are massively setting yourself up for health failure. And let me quickly explain this to you. So a MTHFR defect is basically a reduced capacity by the body to convert folic acid to methylfolate, which is the active form of folate in the body. So essentially, the body may only be converting 50% of folic acid to methylfolate that it needs. So MTHFR is an enzyme that adds a methyl group to folic acid so the body can carry out methylation, so turning on and off all of those switches. So as long as you don't have any mutations in your MTHFR gene, then happy days because as long as you have good gut health, you limit your exposure to toxins, you're eating lots of methyl donor rich foods and you are getting enough B12, well then you should never have any problems with methylation in your body. If however you do have a MTHFR mutation, well then it's really important that you know about it and you take the necessary actions because you are at an increased risk for many different types of diseases if you do nothing. So depending on your ethnicity, up to 30 to 40% of us carry the MTHFR mutations. So if you are slightly luckier, you will be what's known as heterozygous, in that you will get one normal gene from one parent and a mutated gene from the other parent. And if you are particularly unlucky, then you are what's known as homozygous, which means that you receive defective genes from both your mother and father. So your body will then really struggle with methylation. Now, I will show at the end how easy it is to get tested, but first let's jump into why it's so important that you know that you have an MTHFR mutation and what you can do about it if you do have that mutation. Now, this slide I'm about to put up looks very complicated, but it's actually very straightforward. So please stay with me because it's really, really important that you know this information. So this diagram shows lots of different biochemical processes in the body. And this area right here is the methylation cycle. So right here at the top of the methylation cycle, you have methionine, which is an essential amino acid and is essential for the whole methylation pathway. 
So down here at the bottom of the methylation cycle, you can see homocysteine. Now when methionine is converted into homocysteine, it releases a methyl group and you can see that here in the middle. Now obviously we know methylation is critical for all processes in the body. So when your body isn't methylating correctly, all of the various biochemical processes on this chart do not function properly. So for example, if you are not methylating properly, then you won't be producing enough glutathione, which is the body's master antioxidant. Another really important way for the body to remove toxins is via sulfation, which you can see here. This process occurs in the liver, which again, this pathway will really struggle if the methylation cycle isn't running properly. And just down here, you can also see your happy hormones, so serotonin and dopamine, which are also heavily dependent on the methylation cycle running properly. So if you have a healthy gut and diet, but you have a MTHFR mutation, then this could explain your anxiety and depression. So if we go back to this methylation cycle, methionine gets constantly converted into homocysteine and homocysteine constantly into methionine. If this whole process isn't functioning properly and you have high homocysteine levels, well, you are at an increased risk of heart disease and cancer. So where does the MTHFR enzyme fit into all of this process? Well, it sits just here and it stands for methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. So as I said previously, the MTHFR enzyme adds methyl groups to molecules, etc. So as you can see in this methylation cycle, MTHFR adds a methyl group to the homocysteine so that it can be converted back to methionine. So if you do have a MTHFR mutation and your body is struggling with methylation and methyl donors, etc., well then you have to give your body a hand and give it the active forms of methyl donors, so methylfolate and also methyl B12. And without these active forms, then your body is really going to struggle with methylation. Now, as I always say on this channel, I'm really not a big fan of supplements at all. But in situations like this, it is critical that you supplement with methylfolate and also methyl B12. And if you do this, then the whole methylation cycle will just keep spinning and spinning. Without the active forms, everything is backing up. The homocysteine is building up, you are not detoxing properly, you are not producing your happy hormones, and everything is just becoming a mess. So as you can see, methylation is pivotal to your health goals, and as you can see, if you do have an MTHFR mutation, then you need to know about it and address it as quickly as possible before the problem starts affecting your health. So how do you test for it? Well, you can go on 23andMe, and they will send you a kit, you then spit in a tube and send it off, and they will send you a detailed list of all your risk factors from the MTHFR status, all the way through to the chances of you developing Alzheimer's. So you get the raw data from 23andMe and then you put this data through a third party data analysis tool such as Xcode Life. So then you just upload the file from 23andMe and then on the same day Xcode Life will send you a detailed report back. And remember you shouldn't be scared about this information, it's about showing you a whole picture so you can take actionable steps to reduce your risk factors. As always the more you know the more you can stack the cards in your favour. I will link the details below. I'm not in any way affiliated to any of these companies and I receive no money from recommending these services. I simply recommend them because it's essential you know all the necessary facts about what's happening in your body so you can make informed decisions. So that's the end of today's video. Keep the questions coming. Send your hashtag Ask Goji Man video questions to contact at gojimannutrition.com and all other questions to hashtag Ask Goji Man in the comments below. And as always, remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.